Good evening. Not so live. From my home office, it's me, Rabbi Silvers, with Saturday Night Not So Live. So I was thinking the other day about Jewish mothers. You know, we all had Jewish mothers growing up. But I thought, what if the following people had Jewish mothers? What would their mothers have said to them? For instance, Confucius. What's with this Confucius? Says garbage, you just repeat everything. I taught you while you were growing up. You want I should be happy? How about some credit going to your mother like telling people Confucius's mother says? Or Moses, we know he had a Jewish mother. Moses, now that we escaped Pharaoh, where exactly is this promised land the Lord told you about? And was it revealed in a dream or another burning bush? Moses, I'm a tired old bubby. How much longer must we schlep? And how much longer must we eat this bread called matzah? I'm a simple Jewish woman. All I ask for is a good piece of challah with some butter. Then there's our patriarch Abraham. Can you imagine his mother saying, Abraham, where were you and Isaac the last two days? Camping. So, no, what's with the lamb chops? And how come they're already cooked? Well, at least now I can make my boy some homemade lamb stew. Isaac, how come you look a little pale? Go find Rosemary. She has this special herb she grows, which goes well with lamb. And imagine James Watt having a Jewish mother. Please, Jimmy, how about inventing for me a steam iron that works? Or how about Orville and Wilbur Wright? Their mother would say, enough with the bicycles in your new fangled aeroplane. You go to the beach to fly like a bird. And did either of you bring home a nice Jewish girl? No. The only thing you bring home is a box of saltwater taffy. What's a mother to do? How about if Alexander Graham Bell had a Jewish mother? It's been two years since you invented the telephone. And did I get a call? No. Did you give me your phone number? No. You're lucky I didn't keep my maiden name Greenberg, or your company would be called Ma Greenberg instead of Ma Bell. Please call your Ma Bell. How about if Ludwig van Beethoven had a Jewish mother? How about a symphony in my honor? You know your mother, Ludwig, look at me. You didn't hear a word I said. And Sigmund Freud, Siggy, I can't figure, out, figure you out these days. Come here and lie down on the couch. I have a few questions to ask you about the time you played your, with your you-know-what as a little boy. <laughs> I need to get to the bottom of why you're so confused about your relationship with me. And no, I won't give you any more baths. And how about if John F. Kennedy had a Jewish mother? Did I give you permission to use my line? You remember when I told you to ask not what your mother can do for you, ask what you can do for your mother? Oh, and your friend Nikita, he called, wants you to get him tickets to Disneyland. How come you can take Nikita, but not your own mother? How about if Charles Darwin had a Jewish mother? How dare you talk that way to your mother? If you think I evolved from a monkey and figure out where you think I'm going to shove this banana, I'll give you a hint. You're sitting on it. And Charlie Chaplin, if he had a Jewish mom. When you were a little boy, I dressed you up to look like a tramp for Hollywood and 30 years later, you still want to look like a tramp. Hoy vey, what have I created? And think about Franklin Delano Roosevelt, FDR, if he had a Jewish mother, what she would say. Frankie, I know times are tough. So why do I have to take in other people's laundry to make ends meet? Why can't I be part of your new deal? After all, if it weren't for me, there would be no deal. And if Fidel Castro had a Jewish mother, you promised me that when you took over the government, you could let me retire from the cigar factory. Since I become an award-winning cigar maker, thanks to you, here I am stuck in this smelly factory. The least you can do is pay me the same rate as you paid the men. And if Karl Marx had a Jewish mom, what's the matter? Why couldn't you follow in the footsteps of your cousins, Groucho, Chico, and Harpo? 
But no, Mr. Big Shot, you had to invent communism. And what if Mark Zuckerberg, what would his Jewish mother say? With all the money you're making on Facebook, why can't you buy your mother a computer I can use? This new Apple you bought me has no keyboard. What you want I should do, point at it? I can't even make applesauce with it. What do you mean I should look for the applesauce app? What's an app? And if Alicia Otis had a Jewish mother, I appreciate the fact that this new contraption, this elevator you invented, so why do you have me living in a five floor walk up? And if Eli Whitney had a Jewish mother, she might say, I know you invented this new contraption to process cotton, but there's only one problem. The store I go to only sells polyester. And if Michael Leah Day, who's known as Meatloaf, had a Jewish mother, she might say, okay, Mikey, I'll accept you with your new name, but why do I have to be known as Chop Liver? And finally, Bob Dylan. Yes, a nice Jewish boy who had a Jewish mother. In fact, I used to carry out Mrs. Zimmerman's groceries in St. Paul from the grocery store. And she'd always say to me, you know who I am, don't you? And I'd say, yes, Mrs. Zimmerman, I know who you are. Can you imagine her saying to Bob, the next time you tell me to go blow in the wind, I'll take your harmonica and shove it down your throat. Now go get ready for bed and I'll sing the song I taught you. Lay, Bobby, lay, lay across that big brass bed. And by the way, I think you and that Joni Baez make a cute couple. Now, is she willing to convert when the time comes? Ah, Jewish mothers, we all have them. We know what it's like. And now we know what it would be like if these other people had Jewish moms. I love all these Jewish moms. And uh, gratitude goes to Don Entlich, who uh, wrote this uh, several years ago and was published in the uh, Jewish magazine in April 2013. It's such a joy to read some of these uh, old humorous tales. Thanks for listening, everybody. Have a good Saturday night. Bye-bye.